in today's Broadway and beyond. We go behind the scenes at the Phantom of the Opera. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor sits down with the new leading lady who's now making history in that role. The voice singing those legendary lyrics belongs to 25-year-old Emily Kawachu. I am Christine Daae in The Phantom of the Opera. After two and a half years and hundreds of auditions... This is my first Broadway show ever. Oh. <laughs> ...making her debut and making history as the first black woman to step into the role in Broadway's longest-running musical. excited to be carrying this torch and hopefully this will you know break more barriers and we have Christine's of anything any size race ethnicity I get a message like every night I do the show you're helping me pursue my dreams in theater and you know that is I mean if I can just like help one person out um, help inspire them it's just it means the world to me the daughter of immigrants from Cameroon and oldest of three Emily began performing at the age of nine after her mother enrolled her in community theater courses in Illinois. My first show was Oklahoma Junior, and I had one line, and I freaking loved it. She first saw Phantom of the Opera with her high school theater group. I have a distinct memory of seeing the mask at the end on the chair and the phantom disappearing and like that image is like burn in my brain. From there it was the University of Michigan where she learned the phantom material then off to New York City. Dun, 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 dun. Broadway's so newest no star did. took us on stage <laughs> to introduce oh, us to so one of the show's oh, oldest God. stars. So this is the stage. <laughs> so this is the chandelier. This is the chandelier. Oh my god, it looks so I haven't like actually been up close to it. Emily has about 10 costume changes. I get sores and like my shoulders. I have to get massages every week. This is my favorite dress of all time. It's just so different from like all the other dresses. It's so like sassy and sexy. Back in her dressing room, more costumes. I love this dress. It's so pretty. It's so princessy, which is like not like me at all. So I just feel like an elevated woman in this. Her pre show ritual involves a snack and music. And with just minutes until showtime, she seemingly has no nerves. The show is just so in my voice. I literally wake up and like I'm ready to go. The dream that began nearly a thousand miles away is never far from her mind. Every day I have a moment where I'm like, when I'm on stage, I'm like, okay. <laughs> and like I look up and, you know, you can't really see that high because of the lights, but like I know that there are like rows and rows of people. Like all these people are here to see me do my thing. No pressure. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, so many people have dreams and they're just dreams. They don't become a reality and for you yeah. it, it's happened yeah I'm really I'm really lucky luck maybe more like a whole lot of hard work and talent you really can do anything you put your mind to and surround yourself with people that uplift you at the majestic theater Alice Gaynor CBS 2 news wow and her voice gave me shivers that's when you know it's a good performance